a rebound match, including the King of the Board European Finals here in Utah. They have an Austin Lord and the Bull Owners of the Hope to Lord of Soul of Day, of the eighth law of the Living Year Competition. The Color Lemmer is in there. The Lady Heaven is in there. The King of the Gold is still in there. From here, Sound of the Living Year Competition. The Word of the Mouse is in there. More and more. Now we're eight low from the field. My name is JD. Now it's DJ Corner Dex. We gaan knallen. Now we're here. Who is that in the zon trouwens? Lekker? Heel goed. We hebben een speciaal voor jullie besteld. Tot zo meteen.
welcome to Utrecht for the first ever European Championship in King and Queen of the Court. It's an absolute pleasure to have you with us. It's the first round of the women's competition and we're with you on the live stream all evening long. Lula here with you in the commentary booth with the man himself, Rich Lamborn. Richie, welcome. Good to see you, mate. I mean, feels like we, we never left. Well, we're underway. France, team that we know pretty well in uh, Percet Ricard. Yeah, Pogans, they're having a, a good run to kick us underway. If you are tuning in for the first time, yes, this is the first time that anything's been broadcast with commentary, but we've been on the outside court for the last couple of days with the qualification rounds. And for the first time, King and Queen of the Court have had a qualification round, and that has been gnarly, just as that was from Lasana Placet as well. So, five teams qualified, only European teams. That basically means that, Rich, you're the only non-European here. <laughs> Four on the boards for Placet Ricard early doors. And if you are watching, I think we have YouTube comments open for business. So please feel free to uh, get stuck in and be a little bit interactive wherever you're watching from. I'd like to hear from you. I think Rich would want to hear from you as well. And maybe. <laughs> you're selectively being... <laughs> the great word. All in good chess. Oh, former European champions from Vienna last year at the Queen's End. Hubli tries the world he play. Well, Spain new team of Carol and Gonzalez. For you guys who were with us last year, you will remember very well that Bell and Carol won this competition with Marta Melingati. So, of course she's back. She's the queen of this town. Kopnik and Lovshin from Slovenia. Those who follow the World Tour will know them well. And Hubli is back down to the business end. high off the top of the hands. Won the Slovenian Championship more times than I've had hot dinners. And I've had a few of them as well, as you can tell. Well, who believe Bruno have had couple of opportunities before, yet to get off the mark, but Richie, team have done a great job this year, and uh, coming in, we think it's got better, isn't it? Bruno, my swing. definitely a staple of her game, hitting back cross body for sure. But you don't want to be last here. 
Otherwise, you go into a playoff, fourth place into a playoff, and then uh, we have the final three that plays the positioning later on <laughs> to go through to the ladder rounds. Well, for Bella Caro, uh, new partner Gonzalez actually goes to TCU and plays on the NCAA and has one of the best records in the NCAA and also uh, some very notable performances on the World Tour this year as well. Oh, high line. Lovely for brother. Trying to nip the point in the bud at the earliest possible opportunity. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if you saw the the European champs with Armin Helvig starting to put cover balls in on two. It's pretty pretty entertaining stuff, like covering under and um, Helvig would just turn and bounce one. You have to. Uh, have a look, the jump setting Swedes haven't traveled with Raz this week, Rich, but they have traveled with a very, very look-alike of Raz with uh, long hair and a nice wig. Well, I'm sure he's going to be around. But I'll call him Baz for the time being. Just showing Rich the photo of the, the Raz look-alike in the in the wig. And that's the point for the front, as you can see, the fourth one. And they are in the lead. We can read up. We can repeat. Oh! Time to just take it off. Pass! Time out. Oh, was it? Oh, was it the capital T with the forearm? Um, no idea. I think we've said it once. We've said it many. Neither of us are rules guys. <laughs> Not saying we don't love it, but. Really up their game, France, in improving very nicely towards the Olympic Games. Home Olympic Games, it's like, oh, hey! I thought the bounce fest was later, Rich. But there's a bounce off later. There's a bounce off today. Yeah, yeah. I put your name in. And there's the blocking action. If that happens, you just get put up your arm. Still on one for Slovenia. I mean, Caro Gonzalez haven't started ideally. But they still have a chance. I remember Bell and Caro winning this competition without winning a round previously too, so she's pretty good at like sneaking in the back door and doing the work late. Exactly, it's not about how you start. Oh, Jumbo, pick it! That's what we came for. One to the Bank of Lithuania, your man, my dog would say. <laughs> okay, Spain, let's go. The Queen of Utrecht. Oh. One seventeen until the timeout. Party's always. Ah. 
the, the risk goes up and the reward maybe goes down. But maybe goes up, but maybe goes down. I'm quite into this French, uh, French Prince of Ballet. Was there a French Prince? <laughs> the <French laughs> maybe for plus that record. But yeah, Fresh Prince of Ballet. L little vibe going on here. Oh, turn it. There you go. I have to admit, it's pretty nice being back in here, right? Back in Interact in the skyboxes. This is this feels like the birthplace of it. Yeah. Nice high line. I Oh, five minutes, well, 4.49 on the clock. You can see it there at home, the scores are known. They're experiencing this game, let's say, Ricard, and they have done their business very, very early. And they look pretty, well, they're staping through to the next round, but the teams around them have a little bit of work to do, Richie. First half, it's only important to watch who's going to be the team with the fewest points. At this moment, it is Team Spain. The girls with the match shirts, they only have like one point, but Team Slovenia is still in reach for them. So it doesn't matter if you have at the end nine points, five, whatever, just pick here that you don't have these points in this round. So if you decide what kind of team you probably loads of time. Well, as you can see, we're here for the very first day of the main draw. After two days of qualifications, Qualifications on the outside court drew a real good atmosphere, very different to this, but lots of people on the steps just by the station outside this main arena. But the main draw and the main event starts today with the main transmission and main international broadcast also starting tomorrow as well, where you can watch all of that on Eurovolley TV. So for today, we're on the live stream myself and Rich Lambo and also Stefan Bowmans is going to be third wheeling us this week, which is a very good third wheel for us. Yeah, he's a big dog. Maybe now they have chance. Oh, here we go. Spain with the one. Oh, yeah, good hands. Wow. Don't want to turn that back. Baby line. And maybe, well the pressure's certainly on Spain here, but Slovenia would love a few insurance points, as you call them, riches. They have a chance to make a break here. Quick play and transition, good early break, all the same, saw it coming. Lithuanian with a chance. Baby Knuckle. And in King of the Court, you need a little bit of luck. At times, you need stuff to go your way. And potentially that's what we're seeing here. Is the side out, staying away from Caro, staying with Gonzalez. And there we go, second point. And the late run. Well, if the scores are tied, then we have. A longest stay. Yeah, 
Okay, sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. We just had a few technical difficulties before. And now you do have myself, Louis, and we do have Rich ready to go. Well, as we know, not all teams that can go through. We do say goodbye to Carol Gonzalez from Spain. Difficult for them, they did get a little run towards the end, but they will be the first team eliminated. Momentary sidetrack. Well, that's normal. The Dutch fans have got themselves in. They've got themselves a beer. And now they're cheering away, which is just what we're used to in venue team doing a grand job. Yeah, it's, it's amazing to me that. Everybody comes out even on a Wednesday. Right, the place is pretty full for a Wednesday early round. Did you see the European Championships in Munich? Where the uh, the first call was always busy every session of the day, like packed. Yeah. And so was the warm-up call. Packed for the, the stands of pack watching teams warm up on the first day. Unbelievable. Maybe maybe it's catching on over this continent. Maybe some some good things are happening. Well it's interesting so we're just in the in Chicago for the AVP, and it was a little bit drizzly and rainy on Sunday. Stands were packed from the beginning of the day. That's, you know what that is, Rich, don't you? And I said, well, I said, is this a show of love of volleyball, or that there's that little else to do on a Sunday morning? <laughs> but certainly it was a show of love for volleyball, and uh, I think the same is true here, right? And they're not Californian. They're not, yeah. <laughs> they, they don't have the uh, too cool for school arrogance of a California. Yeah. But when it rains in California, nothing happens, correct? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the world stops. Well, the world hasn't stopped here. The world is uh, certainly starting again here in the second round of this one. As Bruna Hubli have a little dance down to the Queen's end. I mean, the women's draw is pretty stacked as well, Richie. This week, haven't. 
Bruno Hubley, Stu Stumann Sharp, Starmer here, sorry. Anastasia Klavchenica as well. Well now, Samoil over. She's a Samoilov. Ah. Correct. Married last week. She m got married to the Lion Cub, is that? The Lion Cub, correct. Yeah. The Lion Cub. <laughs> Who is uh, taller yeah. than the Lion King. And the Lion King has a, uh, a dodgy knee. Let's put it that way at the moment, so he's not here. A dodgy and, knee. Uh, <laughs> it's funny, after the fact for the Lion King that uh, <laughs> he got his watch for attending every kick of the court, yeah. but he doesn't attend the next one. <laughs> <laughs> well, France. Shokara, they love this format. Yeah, it is interesting that they seem to thrive in this format. I don't know. I mean, they play with so much enjoyment, it looks like, right? They have so much fun out there, and, I mean, that's a big factor, right? How do you replicate that in a, in a more traditional volleyball tournament, I think would be kind of the answer yeah, yeah. that people are looking for. Hard yeah. to put your finger on. They're full of fire, right? Yeah. Like, full of pad. Oh, maybe not. Hubley's just made a little late dive into the angle, and... Uh, Maybe put a little bit of that fire out, but I doubt it. Nina Bruna, let's go. It's a nice late moves. Lots of teams uh, throwing the late moves in this concept of the game as opposed to really showing where they're going. This is not a game of chess. Yeah, yeah. Oh, rocket serve. Lithuania already out the back. France with a chance to. I mean, the service pressure from France also means they give themselves a lot of chances at the Queen's end because they, well, serve the leather off of it. Well, that's kind of a hallmark of the Swiss game as well. So they're accustomed to seeing that. Handled that serve nicely, did Nina? Yeah, Switzerland certainly don't hold back behind the baseline, do they? Yeah, they do not. Tanya finding the range on that line shot. Missed a few in round one, but seems to be more dialed in now with a couple extra reps under her belt. That's a really nice side out from Tanya Hubley. Good feet to the ball, good arm through the body. Another chance, kicks out, shows the angle, turns it a little bit more. I mean, the work off the ball there from Ricard was pretty good. You got a yeah. smile on your face, Rich, why is that? Uh, that was, I just loved the, we got Nina doing a tremendous amount of work back there. Tanya just held her position and let Nina cover about 90% of the court on that rundown. <laughs> it's important to know your roles on the team, you know? Absolutely. Oh, opportunity for a two ball, but it's quite fast play. Nice scoop again, plus set this time. Oh, baby knuckle. Someone's got to kill it, Richie. This. <laughs> is it great for us volleyball fans, not great if you're out there trying to score points. <laughs> I mean, I've watched you watch this for a long time, but your jaw was wide open there <laughs> in awe of what you were watching, Rich. <laughs> you're calling me a mouth breather? Yeah. <laughs> One of many. Yeah, that's, uh, that's fair. <laughs> Oh, not cool. Over the top from, said, Bruno saw it, but placement too good. Important to know what you're looking for offensively in the block and the defense. Oh, backspin. Chance. Yeah. Tries to get aggressive <laughs> in transition. And France huffing and puffing right now. This is an yeah, impressive stay from yeah. them, yeah. I'd imagine that they might might walk away someday soon and say we've done our work for this round, but who yeah. knows? Now that's two errors in succession. A third will give them a three point, of course. That works. Oh. You don't mess with Baz on the stand, for sure. Oh, nice turn back. More side outs. I mean, difficult thing is now is they need to save a little bit of gas for the later rounds, but... 
Who knows? Yeah, that, w that looked like it was an attempt to save some gas there. The overset easily picked up by Lithuania. A nice little soft line shot there. Well, takes a lot of people to make these events happen here in Utrecht. Two legends in the commentary box, they're running away now as we almost get them on the microphone, Richie and Heiss and Vincent from Sportworks. They do a good job though, don't they? Wondering why they're up here, so we better be nice about them while, whilst they're here. Sportworks doing an incredible job alongside the CV this year for the first ever European Championships for this amazing concept. And Rich, the growth's been crazy, isn't it? Think about the first time that you're involved. You're involved way before me. And uh, the growth, the hard work behind the scenes, been pretty impressive to have this now going into a continental championship. Yeah, it is impressive. The way they've gotten people behind this concept, Sportworks, there's national championships, as you mentioned, this is the European championship. Really just provided a lot of great opportunities for players to not only play, but have some fun in kind of a different format. Chance to partner up with international players. Big swing right side. Nina Brunner. Wearing the traditional Swiss green. <laughs> There's a little bit of red and white on there. A little bit of red and white yeah, down the side. Bit, but yeah. <laughs> Not looking super Swiss, but that's just kind of the wrong side of the sideline. Not the only Swiss team here is and the first year, Dupree, still with Bentele after they were impressive at the Nations Cup in Vienna, Richie. And obviously Regina Hydrick having the shoulder injury. Bentele's just stepping up and doing a great job. Chance for Lithuania, who you would have heard a minute ago, came through the qualifier to make it to this stage. So absolute kudos to them, but Bruno Hubley and Plessé Gricana way out in front. We're a minute away from the break here. Remember, teams like Hermanova Stochlova here, Klavchenica and Konstantinova. Replacement for Tina Claudinia, but took a fourth place in the under 18s European Championships last week. Also a CV under 20 wow. medalist as well. So interesting to see how Latvia go. Tough serve from Lithuania paying dividends there. Well, this is a huge chance for them before the break. You want to be in for the break, really, so one or two sides side out gives them a real good chance here to get a rest, come back out fresh, and see if they can really put a dagger into Slovenia. Oh, oh, there's France. a laser beam from Richard. I mean, they didn't need to do that, but fair play. Is it too much to ask to have freaking sharks with freaking laser beams on their head? It's day one session where you've only got to Austin Powers. <laughs> the only Austin Powers uh, quotes I can think of are really inappropriate, so I'll keep them heavily to well, myself. <laughs> we'll, we'll be breaking this one out uh, from time to time over the weekend. There's only two things I can't stand. People who are intolerant of other people's cultures and the Dutch. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> that's, that's a fantastic one being here in Holland, the birthplace of this format. Our friends at Sportworks, which is a Dutch company, 
Wilco, certainly in my top five favorite Dutch people. <laughs> Who are the four above it? Well, there's nobody above or below. You know, it's a top five. Oh, Every, you know, okay, it's top five hanks in there. Boss Van der Voor. Rinder Numidor. Well, five minutes left, France, as we hear about Richie's top five Dutch people ever. Yeah, you got Numidor, Boss Van der Goor, who I had the pleasure to play with and know a little bit. What a great human being. We got to have our guy Bormans in there, right? The yeah, TP. TP, Robbie, Robbie Alex. Robbie, Alex, I mean, they're cool. There, there's yeah. a lot of great Dutch people. Yeah, it would, uh, probably a shorter list would be Dutch people I don't like, and I can't even think of one who's on that list. Me neither. Yeah. Only one of a handful of countries that I could live in quite easily. Right. Oh, nice swing. And Lithuania making a late move. At the perfect time, they're back at the Queen's end at the expense of France. It's been a really neat little play here. But as we know, it could be the last three minutes that we really see the thrills and the spills of what this game is really about. So. They do have time, it's tough because it says four minutes. It says that they don't have much time, but they have plenty of time if they make the most of it. That's a big swing there, almost taking Nina's head off. Oh, well oh. handled there. The serves don't count until the last minute, remember. All oh, the crowd is starting to get behind this. This is huge moments, but for Lovchin and Kotnik, they have to wait because it's France first before them. And it's looking like they're going to have to make six or seven side outs in three minutes. And I mean, that's a pretty tough task for them. Oh, nice. I mean, if you are going to overpass it, that's probably the spot you want to do it. Yeah. yeah, I mean, what a run here, uh, what a time for Lithuania. They're almost going for longest stay candidates right now. In the first round. Look, now they're top of the tree. I mean, Lithuania make eight in the eight. I believe you're right. I think they were on two. Probably going to be impossible for Slovenia at this point to make up that ground. Incredible run there from Lithuania. So you say welcome to everyone, wherever you're watching from. Remember, it's king of the court, queen, or king and queen of the court. So of course, this is the first day of competition where we are broadcasting to you on YouTube. And tomorrow we are on Eurovolley TV. Oh, great swing, Hoopley again. Yeah. Really easy to work that second ball in transition when Hoopley's on the left side, Brunner's on the right. Absolutely, yeah. Lithuania just finding their rhythm. Yeah, and so is our DJ, huh? DJ is crushing it. No one can see my head. A little bit like a nodding donkey at the moment. Oh, no block. They're going to take this, but I mean, do you really want to make nine side outs in a row and then only have a two minute break before a final round? I don't know. But I'm enjoying it all the same. Yeah, it's uh, that's kind of an interesting wrinkle in this format, right? Is you do have to think about conservation for subsequent rounds, but how do you try to not side out, right? You're out there, you're in the rhythm. You just ride it while you got it. I mean, um, if people want to know how not to side out, they could just come up here. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We sure. could not side out all day, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. To the line of from Brunner, missing out from her, just trying to overturn one back. And this is a big chance, but there's only 36 seconds left, so no chance still. I mean, I like the tempo that they try and play, but makes it all that more difficult to turn the ball playing that quick. But, you know, I really like that. That's some good results. 
Courtney taking a second in the Futures event to China in Libuana just a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. How about that big? Oh yeah. <laughs> Way to finish it. Way to finish. Well, five points to Slovenia. Lithuania take the round. And if I was France and Switzerland, I would be pretty happy to let Lithuania take this round. We might see something different in the next round. But uh, you have to be happy. They're underneath, well, they're under the coach. Let's put it that way. On two side outs, they take it with a 12. Yeah, and of course, the final round is all about trying to get that golden ball. You're guaranteed to advance, but will you advance with that free replay or will you not? Well, we welcome out the CLE dancers to Utrecht. We never know what's coming up next in entertainment in this neck of the woods. Now, which part of Holland is Florida? reminiscent to watching us up here in the commentary box right. throughout the week. Sadly, we're much less coordinated. <laughs> and you tend to keep things a lot closer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But there's a couple edicts. No, no arm crossing, which <laughs> I'm doing now, of course. And uh, never let the arms get above the shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> I struggle with that anyway. Well, we'll leave you with the dancers for just a minute and we will be right back. taglines for this format no rest for the weary right we get going in a hurry and it's fast and frantic in this last round as there's only three teams same 15 minutes so you get less time to rest more time to play the caveat of course is that first team to reach 15 if that should happen in less than 15 minutes wins the round and takes that golden ball And it's interesting because teams that we've seen more frequently in these tournaments like uh, Placette and Richard might be more adept at knowing how to use that, right? Teams we haven't seen a lot like uh, Brunner and Huberly, for example, I think oftentimes forget they even have that to employ, right? Yeah, you get caught up in, in kind of the action. All three of these teams guaranteed passage into the next round, but still jockeying for position here, and of course that extra advantage. That is seeing life through extremely rosy colored lenses, I believe. But we'll take it. That's a choice, right? You know, every day you wake up, your attitude is a choice. 
<laughs> My therapist told me that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't go to therapy. <laughs> It's a, it's a great concept that started kind of, you know, necessity being the mother of invention, so to speak. With COVID, they came up with a way, you know, we didn't have any sporting events. Sportworks conceptualized this so you could still have the social distancing and responsibility and all that kind of stuff, but we could still have sporting events. And it was such a success. People liked it so much, they just stayed with it, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah, great serve there for Placet. Just a PB down the middle. Oh, just long. Great move into the angle, but ever so slightly long. Well, we That's have had a couple of technical issues yeah. <laughs> since since arriving to this stream. So um, bear with us would be the easiest. Yeah, these are like the warm-up rounds for us too. We're just getting everything sorted. Oh, that's oh, 100%. I mean, it's great to be here, even if you can't hear one of us half the time. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Some might consider that a bonus. An absolute bonus. And I'd imagine if they've listened to every other King of the Court broadcast, right. they probably know what's coming from one of us at one stage. That's right, that's right. Oh, shoot. There we go. You're going to get some decent volleyball insight. You're going to get us inexplicably talking about what the DJ is playing. And you're going to get a heavy dose of nonsense. <laughs> Movie quotes. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Here we go, France. I mean, that's two net band aces that Fuenia have had in this round. Happy days for them on nine. Sorry, on two, Switzerland on nine. Yeah, it is early days, Rich, you're right. Early days. I'm sure Hubley Brunner looking towards 15 to get this done and dusted. We have four rounds. It's like turn back into the angle. Lovely job. Could be a surprise package. We always have a surprise package. Yeah, King and Queen of the Court. Or has this been rebranded Queen and King of the Court? Yeah, there's no real way to sort of handicap these matches, right? All of our teams are world class. All of them can side out. It's just kind of a matter of survival and then catching fire at the right time. France like to catch some fire. Third and place at the that's moment. Be in. Oh yeah. They could well be still pretty exhausted from the last round when they went on absolute tear. Bruna knows exactly what she's dealing with there and just slots it away. 
Wow. I mean, France is absolutely getting after their serves. I mean, if you had a coaching one on 101 of this sport, that would be high on the priority list, wouldn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Hop your serves. Get it after it. It becomes a heavy service game. Quite enjoying watching Lithuania. The one bonus that Lithuania have had is that they they played in the in the qualifier already. So I think we'll see that, or we have seen the fact that they're already quite warming into this concept. And yeah, the level's gone up there in the main draw, but they're certainly in rhythm with the pace of everything, which yeah. is pulling off sneaky little shots like that one, the diving back pump set over on two. I reckon you're the king of the sneaky shots out here, Rich. Turn back. Bruna has called fire at 6.22. On the countdown clock, four will do it. What's gonna come first? Sat in the pocket. And from the right side, that's a great turn. Great Not turn. Fun. Great trajectory on that from Poset. Yeah, really good feed inside the ball. Great turn of the arm. Guy over there, new, new guy over here. You can't see him. Maybe you can on the right hand side with the right t shirt, putting his hands up. Kevin Kuzmichov from uh, Israel. He just loves it. He qualified for the main draw and he just loves the fact that he gets to have a hit out here. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Good, good young prospect. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so is still on 11? I think that's really one of the things that makes France so tough in this format is their creativity. Right? Like they're so... Uh, we talked about how much fun it looks like they're having, but they, they really get a chance to express that creativity. Quite a lot of variation, quite physical. Straight down the middle. Oh, yeah, okay. Caught, caught the end line. Well, there's the timeout. Entertaining start to this king of the court round. Queen and king. Promised by the end of the week we will get out of those habits of... Uh, the Queens and the Kings will be crowned at the European Finals here in Utrecht for 2022. And Richie, what's the mindset now for the last five minutes? If you're France, what do you think? Have a chance if they can get down there early? Yeah, they have a chance. I mean, you know, there's this is the final round either way, so there's no leaving anything uh, in reserve. And this is the only time they've got to play today. Would there be any prep talk that you would give them? You're a man of coaching, you're an Olympic coach, Rich. Yeah, but that that means very little. <laughs> certainly, certainly in this format, you know, you got to get out there. They're doing all the right stuff. They're serving tough, trying to give themselves chances. You just got to try and side out. You know, it's uh, everyone's coming out guns blazing. Absolutely. As we see, you know, Brunner and Huberly got off to a good early start, but those final few points are always the toughest to get. Woo! You see uh, Janis Schmedins down there on the left-hand side with the Jumpman hat on. Yeah, he actually had the same bag as me yesterday, now he's got the same cap as me. And <laughs> we're both left-handed, but I think that's where... I think that's where it stops. The similarities end? Yeah, I think after that we're pretty different, but... Jump man, jump man, that boy up to something. <laughs> well, there is no Moritz Pristaus this week. Yeah. Jump man. That is my guy, but you got some family, some growing family responsibilities, right? Congratulations to, to him, a brand new baby. So does Christian Barrenhorst, who is here this week. Wow. Just became a father the week, the week before.
Obviously something in the air during off-season. Yeah. <laughs> High swing from Krubly. Yeah, that's, that's frustrating there when you have a chance to be on the queen side and end it. I mean, it looks like Brunner and Huberly are going to win this regardless, but you like to get the job done in timely fashion and not have to be out there any longer than necessary. We'll be looking for two. Utah, give this me two. It. With one comes two, Richard. But let's have a look. Oh, yeah, you're not, you're not passing that one. That's uh, way too good from France. It's interesting the versions of frustration you see, right? You get frustrated, obviously, if you aren't getting to the queen side. You get frustrated if you're not scoring on the queen side. And then if you're Switzerland, you're frustrated you're not closing it out as quickly as you would like. Well, we've seen some clear frustration in this competition before. But different kinds of frustration, but you can go zero to 100 real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Why play snapback? Bruna, again, sitting in a good spot, stable, high lines, a good one. And okay, Rich. They still need two. Still looking for two. <laughs> one more for Bruna Hoodley. Love that swing. On you with a chance. There it is. Well, there you have it. All three go through, but the golden ball goes to Switzerland. Richie, great round. Yeah, on paper, of course, you would have thought that was the way it was going to go. Our highest ranked team in that group, the Swiss girls. And they showed their class there in that final round. Absolutely. Well, all three teams go through. Switzerland take the golden ball. And we will be back very shortly for the next round of the Queen and King of the Court European Championship Finals.
ons al gehad. Hij zal ons hoog mogelijk via dit harde platform gesmashen. Jullie hebben daarbij nodig zoveel mogelijk geluid, geestelijke energie. En dan rammen ze hopelijk een balletje onder het stadion uit. 15, 35 seconden, zoveel mogelijk ballen als ze maar willen. Dan houden we daarna. Twee teams over. Die spelen in de finale voor de hoogste bal, de hoogste bounce. En ik ga je even laten zien. Dit is een echte tranentrekker, dames en heren. Ik denk dat de winnaar van spontaan begint te huilen. Voor deze prijs. Kleine Pony die zei, die, uh, die staat op het spel. Thomas Hammer. Dames en heren, dit is voor de eer. We gaan ze erbij halen. Vijf teams. Vier, vijf teams. Vijf. Dus vijf en seconden. En dan krijgen we daarna een finale tussen twee. Die bal. Schoen. Dat is best. Zijn jullie er klaar voor?
We zijn twee finalisten. The Spanish team and the Dutch team. You are proceeding to the final. Jullie mogen nog één keer doen. Maar ja, jij krijgt even van mij 10 seconden pauze. Want ik zie het aan je. Dat was wel zwaar, hè? Ja, dat was wel zwaar. Um, we gaan het nu anders doen. Geen 45 seconden meer. Ze krijgen vier pogingen. Allerlei vier pogingen. Voor het mens. Ja? Daarna bepalen jullie, jullie hebben mij hier over, jullie bepalen wie uiteindelijk de Royal Bouncehal ligt. Can I have the Spanish team and the Dutch team? Forward, please. Zullen we eens even met een klein applausje naar voren halen, dames en heren? Lekker! Oké, okay. DJ, give me some music. You will have the first attempt. Are you ready? España. Thank you. 